Hello, guys. In this lesson, we're going to talk about creating sequences and rules on ManyChat. Let's get started. Do you want to create marketing automation on ManyChat to send to your subscribers? Do you want to send promotional or non-promotional messages to your subscribers and set a schedule when they should receive the content from you? Do you need to create certain conditions that will trigger actions such as re-engaging a non-active subscriber? On ManyChat, you can create messages, link existing flows, and set a schedule when your subscribers will receive your messages and add custom rules that will trigger specific events. Sequences are a combination of messages, actions, and they can be connected to flows. You can send it immediately, send it after a few minutes or hours, after a few days or weeks. It can be a part of your marketing automation as a user subscribes to receive content from you. People can subscribe to your sequence and they have the option to unsubscribe if they want to. Log into your ManyChat account and sign in with your Facebook account. From the left menus, click on Automation. You can find the sequences and rules here. First, let's create a sequence. Click the button New Sequence. You will see a pop-up window to type in a name for your sequence. Then click the Create button. This is what you will see for newly created sequences. We need to create the messages first. Click this button. You can see these fields. On the left side, you can set a schedule to set the time of day that your recipient will receive your message from the time they subscribe. When a user subscribes, you will see the number of times the message is sent, the number of clicks, open rate, and click-through rates. Click Create New Reply. Then click Add a Text. Add a message asking their permission if they want to receive content from you. Then below, add another text to remind them that it's free and they can unsubscribe anytime using the keyword Stop. Then add a button if they want to subscribe. Next, add a button if they prefer not to receive content from you. Now let's rename the steps to make them easier to understand. This flow means that if a user decides to click on the Yes button, they will receive this message. But if they choose not to receive content, they will receive this message instead. In this section, you're still giving them the option to click on the button to receive content, and if they click on it, they will receive the existing response in this step. Now click Publish. We need to click on this button to make this sequence active. Click the Message button below to add more sequences. This is our second sequence. The subscriber will receive this message and they can view the blog as they click on this card or the button below. Click Publish. Now enable the second sequence. Create the next sequence and link the products that you offer. This question will allow them to engage with you first before they receive the content about your products. Next, rename the sequence names. This makes it easier for us to understand what each sequence contains. Next, edit the schedule for each sequence. You can set it immediately, after a few minutes, hours, or days. You can set it anytime or send it between a time frame. Also, you can set it to send it any day or choose specific days. Click Save and Update Schedule. Our first sequence is now set to be sent after 3 minutes. Next, set the schedule of the next sequences. Next, let's go to Rules. Rules allow you to create automatic events for a specific action. Click the button to create a custom rule. You can see the trigger and action buttons here. Triggers allow you to perform actions inside your flows. The date or time-based trigger allows you to use the subscriber's time zone to perform a specific action, such as start a flow or unsubscribe from a sequence. For example, a subscriber who no longer engages with you could mean that they are no longer interested to receive messages from you. You can set the action to unsubscribe from a sequence or start an existing flow that includes asking if they want to unsubscribe. Then instruct them to input the keyword stop to unsubscribe or use a button to unsubscribe. You can also set up a rule to engage with your subscribers who are not reading your messages. If you have created a flow that reminds a subscriber if they are still interested to receive messages from you, you can link it to this time-based trigger. Another rule that you can set up is to remind your subscribers about an upcoming event. This can be your upcoming live webinar event, 
their booked appointment, or your upcoming promotional sale. Triggers can also be accessed as you create a new flow. From the starting step, you can see the Add Trigger button. All the triggers inside the custom rule can be found under Events, but you may notice that these are all available for the Pro version only. Other triggers that you can use are Tag Applied, Tag Removed, which are applied to a contact, Subscribed or Unsubscribed from a sequence, Custom or System Field Value Changed, or New Contact. If you need to go viral, we have a marketing app that can help you use memes to go viral and increase your engagement. Mighty Memes is the best meme marketing system that speeds up your fan page, reach new audiences every day, and help boost your sales organically. Mighty Memes generates solid engagement. You can get tons of likes and comments. It's a great way to connect to your audience. Memes connect with the viewer on an emotional level. It's easy to get endless viral potential. Just keep on creating new memes and attract more traffic. It's extremely likable since everyone loves to laugh at a good meme. It provides quick consumption since there's no need to play a video or read an article. People love memes because they can be consumed quickly and it sets off the share impulse. Anyone who discovers a good meme will not hesitate to share it. It's an instant attention grabber. You can use recognizable images that make people pause and pay attention while they scroll their feed. So try Mighty Memes now. Go to getmightymemes.in. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.